Hello everyone, good evening or good morning or good whatever you are. Hello, welcome to this live. Um, the view of my uh, live is sideways and that's because I can't turn my phone sideways. Um, so that blocks me um, of when I'm doing a live. So I think you see it also sideways. Um, so you need to turn something to see it better, I think, because there was no other way that I can film this live. Um, because there was no option to uh, film it uh, different. So if you can see, I think you see my hands at the sides. Let me see if that's coming in your screen. But I think it's not in the S. You see it sideways. So yeah, that's a little bit difficult. But I hope you're looking from a phone or uh, iPad or uh, something like that. So then you can turn the easy sideways. Um, if you're watching from a laptop, that's a little bit difficult. But sorry for that. But um, yeah, tonight I'm here. Uh, I think it's a long time ago that I did a live for Elizabeth Craft Design. Um, and I'm excited. I'm going to work with uh, different collections. as That's what I like to do. Um, I show some cool techniques with uh, distress embossing glaze in combination with Elizabeth Craft Design. So um, yeah, it will be a fun night. You can see some stuff is laying in the screen too. Welcome to this live. So yeah, um, I had a play time with the Distress Unboxing Glaze. So you can see it in this tin. And then I prepared something for the live. But first I want to start with that um, play thing. Um, because then we're going to use that for the sidekick page we're going to make later. Well, um... I use the Stress Embossing Glaze, so they come in a lot of different colors, so I have them uh, sorted by color, and um, yeah, it's really fun to work with, it's an embossing powder, but it's a transparent uh, embossing powder with some um, color in it, but not that much, but it works different. Um, so it's yes Femke um my when I'm starting filming I can't turn uh turn my phone so um it's not sideways so uh yeah sorry for that but I can't turn my phone um different I can try it now but I don't think of when I'm doing this live well no I can do that because then everything will be messed up but, um, yeah, sorry for that. I can't do it the other way. So it's a problem. I heard that um, from Facebook. There was a problem with turning your phone sideways to film uh, things. So, um, this stress embossing powder. It can turn out differently um, how you use it. Here are some things. These are the postage stamps from Annette Green. From the everyday elements collection and you can make some really cute small elements uh, for using this um, so i made some tiny postage stamps and i will show that to you because you can do that in different ways let me see i have some piece of just soft finish cardstock but it depends on what um, paper you use, is how the look, everything will look. So, this is a piece of paper. And then I make the tiniest one. Hello, hello, good evening. Hello, everyone. 
All right. So, as you can see, this is white paper. Um, it also depends if you use the card, the smooth side or the side with. Ooh, my build is. Uh, <laughs> I see my build. Uh, my view is shaking. Um, if you use the side with the structure, um, it also works different. So, yeah, you have to play with that and just use the paper you like to use and just try with it. Um, for all these sides, no, this one and this one, I use the side with structure. And that means that you get this look. Let me see. You get some structure in it, and after that you can rub that in with uh, distress crayon, like some so works. Hi everyone, welcome, welcome. So my um, my phone wasn't working on Facebook to turn my uh, phone sideways, so that's um, why you see it sideways. Um, so. If you use white, then you see the white color underneath there, um, because it's a transparent embossing powder. And I can show you that. Let me see if I can grab that. Just carefully. Yes. I have it here. So um, yeah, I made this for another life. So here you can see some different colors and uh, the difference between if you have white um, cardstock and then um, with ink underneath there or without. So you can see uh, there's more color when you do some ink underneath there. Um, so that's the choice which you have to make. Um, these are some colors. Um, but you can also play with it um, when you have the first layer is a different color than your distress embossing glaze. So it, you can do a lot of things with that. And I will show some things tonight and some things not. But you can, maybe I will do it another live or someone else. Good for this. I want to show you. Um, this one I'm gonna tell you some in a minute. Hello everyone. Um, because now I want to ink this one. And let's see which color. Let me do blue. And this is Selfish Patina. Patina. And I need the ink of that. Just gonna to start blend it on the sm uh, structure side. And it also depends on how many layers you bring your ink on. enough all right then I use a stamp and I use a stamp from this collection from everywhere elements CS299 from happy and I use this one so if you're working with embossing powder, you use Fessomark or an embossing dauber or a Fessomark ink pad or a Fessomark uh, pen, because I have this one too. I use this for um, some die cutting elements or some spots where I want specifically embossing powder. Uh, for this one, I use the ink pad. So I just... 
put some ink on the stem. And then put it there. On the corner to there. And just let the ink go in the paper. Yeah, just move that away. And then I will turn this page. Maybe there's some ink left on the paper. Then just put that over. And now you can see I did something wrong. Because I didn't dry my ink yet. My distress ink. But I think it came out. Okay. And then you can remove with your brush but if you do this then you need to dry your first layer otherwise you have embossing powder everywhere because it sticks on something that's wet all right i think it's good enough for me then i pick my heat gun because it's an embossing powder because you need to hit it okay. yes there is a reason why um, the view is like this because my phone can't turn um, the video so that's weird but yeah okay like that so then you get this now it's a uh, background with selfish patina and the same color of this trash embossing powder and it is transparency this so the color Underneath the embossing glaze will go through the embossing glaze. If you do a dark color, then you see some little blue things. Do I have a sample of that? Maybe. Mm. Yeah, I think I did that here. Here you can see it's just a stamp, but I, it shows what how it's worked. Um, this is the same color with the same uh, color distress embossing glaze. Um, and so you work with different colors. And here you can see a black stamp. with It gives a shiny look with some really small pink um, highlights in it. So um, yeah, you can understand you can play a lot with that. Uh, so that's what I did and I will do for this live. But I want to show that you can do different things with that. And it's a really, really cool fan element for your planner, for your cards, for your flowers um, to use. So what I did um, with, with this one is just first stamped on um, this paper pad from the Keyline Night. This paper one. So I used the green um, paper. Let me show you that. This one. I stamped with a uh, brown ink. And some uh, leaf of course. And then just go over it with. Um, the, do, 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 do. No, not last shadow. I forgot which color. But. Thumb is stone. And then, um, before you start heating, you just move some of the glaze away from the embossing powder. You can do that with your finger or with a brush. So then, at these spots, there will be no glaze. And then you can um, pick a crayon and then just go over it. Um, go over it with your finger, a little bit wet finger. And then you get this really cool, nice look. So, 
so that's what um, what you're gonna do with it and then uh, you go over this and you have a really cool shiny thing uh, here the same I stamped first on a white background with a stamp then go over it with pink embossing powder and just rub in with the purple crayon yes this I used a distress crayon and here also just stamped and uh, let me think yeah just stamped on a white black background then go over it with a green embossing powder just move some powder away before it's heating and then just go over it with some crayon and here you can see that that, that much but it's some base and you can later put something like this on there this on there or whatever you want so you have really cool elements for your pages yes but if you um, yeah it's really fun to use and this one is just with the same color and the same embossing powder and then if you can if you just pick your ink and you start inking the edges Well, how cool is this? Don't have to be that difficult. So yeah, that's what I uh, got to do tonight. So now I'm done. No, I'm not done. But <laughs> this was something I need to explain a little bit. So now we can work on the Sidekick Planner page. And I, because I was talking with Annette about... Uh, the glaze another day and um, then I showed a page where I did this too and I'm not sure but I think it was during a Facebook live but I'm not sure if it was here or somewhere else but it was with Elizabeth Craft Design so maybe I can post that one uh, later after the live so tonight put that away I prepared something for you for a sidekick page with the different collections. So I have this base page with this tab. Then I have some postage stamps, some labels, no label, just some uh, elements, another element, and then just this. <laughs> and that's uh, my friend the beaver so let's start with the beaver <laughs> put this away and this um, stamp die is just the base layer and then the inside so like this a uh, smaller one just put this to your machine with a uh, cardstock and then uh, you have a frame but i will um, save this for later with some embossing glaze so my friend the beaver so how are you all doing are you doing fine it's a long time no speaking to you <laughs> uh, this die is from the newest collection from the sidekick and it is Sidekick Essentials 30. The base page with tickets. This one. Let's see, I always like to start with the face. I don't know what that is, but I like that. So when I'm just put these together with some glue. Oh, I see something that's laying around here. I will use it later. Then, oh, and all the edges are inked with uh, Frey Burlap because I like to ink the edges. Yes, 
Yes, it's just a small baking uh, tin. And I really like to prepare my lives in these tiny things. Yep. And the eyes. Yeah, there's a little problem with Facebook why I'm having my... Uh, why the view is sideways. I can't turn my phone sideways. So I'm really sorry for that. Yeah. Hello everyone, welcome to this live. Great to see you everyone's here. And most of the time I use some uh, soft finish cardstock and distress ink for coloring this animals. But today I use some uh, smooth cardstock, which I also uh, like. And the other one. It's so cutie, this one. Alright, then we go further with this part. Putting this on top of her head, well, or maybe here. Mm, no, I will do it on her head. Then the nose. And then I put out some heart from one of the new dyes from the uh, Sidekick Essentials. So she's going to she can hold it. Uh, the side of the spade is the sidekick, yes. Exactly. Well, this tray is empty. And then the tail, and top of it. Then the arms, which go a little bit under her head. And the other one too. And then she will hold the little heart. No, isn't she cute? Then the feet. Yes, well, she is almost done. Only some white spot in the middle of her eyes. So, 
that's the first step of this page. Put that away so it can dry. Then the rest of the page. I used paper from the Key Lime Night. Um, and I want some doing some stamping on this and on this part. Put that away. Mm, let me see. I have this stamp that is the Bear Moose Beaver stamp. And there's a sentiment, damn, you're cute. And now I'm doubting if I do some line at the edges, which there's a stamp for. But then I need a stamping platform. And then I use this stamp, the Lay with Label stamp. Yes, it reminds me of Band 2, uh, Terry. Now I need to move it a little bit closer to me so I can see it's right where I want it to be. Like that, and then I pick some brown for that. Ta -da! I like that. And then, oh. I will stamp another thing. And that's some, I don't know how it's called, but it's some part of a tree. The stain? No, it's not stain. So it's this part. And I want that on um, this. And I want it like that. Uh, I like it. So then the same color came back. And that's what I like. Because then you see some patterns in your page of using the same products. And same colors. Alright. I think then we can start building it up and making the frame. Put that away. It's just a mess. And I'm just working a half an hour. <laughs> but that's okay. Uh, so. 
this one can glue together. Because that's what I liked about these layered labels. You can layer them and um, sometimes you don't need to. But sometimes it finishes something. Like that. So these three things are cut out from the paper that I use. So uh, this is a small piece. From um, let me see where I found it. This page. So you can use this as page base for your page, but you can also use some tiny elements uh, to get out and then use. My plan is this one goes here, then this will be on top of it, but I will work with the frame in a minute. Then put this in the back, and then this one comes underneath. This one kind of under here. Then I have this one who fits perfectly here. This one comes here and then the beef will go here. Yeah. So some background stamping. Let me see. Let me see. Yeah, I really like this one. With the words about happy and happiness and i will just do that with my hands so what you will get is just put your stamp on your ink and then turn it around so it's, the words are in a good way and then just stamp stamp a stamp. Yeah, that's good enough. Three. Because in my way I use a lot of three things. Um, then the edges. Of all things I do the edges. I mean, not for this one, because I was not sure what I was planning to do with the base, base page. But this is okay for me now. So this one goes in the middle and then just don't push too hard at this side because you want this one underneath there. And then this will later because now we start with the frame. And we do some embossing powder with it. So the paper is background paper from the paper pack. Then I have the color Lost Shadow. So it's really, um, how do I say that, a light color. I pick my ink pad. 
And now I will show you the technique with some distressed crayon. So just dip it in your ink pad. And I just do one side first and then the other side because then you can hold it when you want to heat it. And then some embossing powder. And now you can see this embossing powder at this side. So now you just remove some spots with your finger. Okay, then just heat it. It's a really light color so you don't see that much but you see some shiny uh, look so yeah I think it's good for this page there is not that difference between the colors then the other half go it over with embossing powder and then you can see there are some spots with two layers, but you can remove that with your finger. So you don't see that you go over it twice. But if you use distress embossing powder and you want to see more color, you can do another layer or another layer. So just when you go to the color that you want. So you're just building up with layers. Then heat it. Okay, so this can go away. And now when once you heat it, oh, oh that's not that good. I thought it goes okay, but not that much. And let's see if I can pick it up a little bit. to remove it a little bit all right so i need to do the difference let's put this away Just clean it a little bit, yes. All right, nothing happened. Um, yes. So there were some spots where there was no um, glaze. When you heat it, it's kind of plastic layer you made. Um, so if you do something with crayons, what I will do, the crayon will not stick at the plastic part. So let's see. 
Mm, I think I want some dark brown. But not that dark. Um, so what you need you need something like a baby wipe or something that's a little bit wet so your uh, finger is also a little bit wet then you pick your crayon and just rub on top of this layer And then just go over it with your finger. And then you can see you can move it. And it's stuck on the places where there is no embossing powder. So some spots will be darker. Some spots not. But that's um, how big the spots are where your uh, removed embossing powder. It also depends on how much water you will use. If you use a lot of water, um, it reacts more, so it spread out more. So yeah, just go play with that. Then, you pick some paper towel. And you go over the frame. So the spots where um, you have the embossing powder will come clean. And the other spots are filled with the crayon. And then you get this cool frame. And you can do that with every color you want. But remember, if you work with this, uh, Distress Embossing Glaze is a transparent embossing powder with, a, um, with some color in it. But it depends how which color is your background, um, how, the turn, how the color will turn out. So... Yes, that's what I want to share. Now it one color. Now we can finish the page. So I do some inking on these edges. And you can also do this with um these uh, characters or flowers or things the same way it's a really full, cool technique All right. then this part will be at the back and this one too so some glue And this goes here at the side. Just a little bit lower, I see. Then this goes over there. Yes, flowers is also really fun. And also the um, bee or the bird from uh, Everyday Elements collection. Mm 
do you see how fun this looks? I really love this. Um, so I just put some glue in the right side and just a little bit to the middle that goes here then this one goes under here this one goes on top And then let me see. Oh, cute. Yes. Let's be one. Now, at least I choose some reinforcements. This one over there and this one over there and then I think it's enough for this page So this can in my sidekick journal. And not in this one, but this one is right in hand. And then this cutie is done. So um, thank you so much for watching. And I'm sorry for this view that you had sideways. Um, hopefully the next time it's better. And I will wish you a great weekend. And um, I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.